Hello gang, how are you going? Sky Pilot here. Well, today I've done a battery test of the 520S. Uh, check up on the screen there, see how it fared. Now I'm going to have a quick fly and test out the height. See how high this thing actually goes. Look at a few people ask me what it's make some height, so we're going to test that. And I'm also going to test the return to home feature when the battery goes low. Apparently she'll come back to where she's taken off, so let's get out there and see what happens. Waiting for a two second break in the weather. Ooh, something got stinky. Okay, so we're going to do a high test. A tiny breeze here today, making sure that I've got enough satellites before I take off. And at the moment, I have none. Okay. High test, Ishing, number one. Eight satellites, looking up. So, screen record. Have a look, make sure it's nice and stable, which it's not at the moment. Okay, Let's see if it uh, corrects itself. It's drifting now, it's having a bit of a drift. Still drifting. Let's take it out here in the oval a bit more, a bit of height. I shall just make sure we're on the correct notes, just drifting off by itself. Okay. Bring it down and do a calibration. Okay, so it's beeped and it's now looking a lot better than it was before. Not too sure what's happening there. Okay, speed high. Okay, let's go and do a high test, folks. See how high she'll go. <coughs> Go out further forward into the oval because there's a slight breeze coming my way. Okie doke. At the moment we're reporting 18 metres altitude, so let's take her up and see how high she'll go. As I was climbing, it was creeping towards myself again for some reason. Hopefully the GPS will lock in. Okay, up we go again. Up and up and up. And up. <laughs> okay, 52. That's a PB. I haven't been 52 before. So let's keep climbing. Let's see what I can take it up to before we lose either signal or everything else. Oh, gosh, it's a long way up. <laughs> 70... Eight meters, guys, and it's beeping at me. So I now would recommend we're too far away. So let's do a little spin around up there, shall we? Have a bit of a look around. Hopefully, it's recording. I did have a bit of trouble with the SD card last time, and it failed to record. So we'll see what happens this time. So if I try and go any higher, yes, I can. I'm going to 80, 81 meters, 81, 81. Okay guys, so it's beeping at 81 metres. So I think that's uh, as good as we're going to get, folks. There you have it. I'll bring it back down. The remote stops beeping, so I would suggest that all's good now. 81 metres uh, altitude. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. The picture still looks pretty cool. I'm hoping the onboard's recorded. I've certainly recorded to my mobile device, so we'll certainly have that picture anyway. Oh yeah, I'm impressed, that's pretty neat. Okay, next test, seeing as orbit mode doesn't work, I'm going to go from ground level to 80 metres and I'm going to see how long it takes for me to get there. Just lower in back down. Okay, 
Okay, we're pretty much on the ground now, so ready with the stopwatch. Let's see how long it takes us to get to 81 metres. Three, two, one, punch it. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty-one. Eighty-two. Eighty-three. Eighty-three metres, folks. Okay, I'll do a very slow spin around up there. Check out the footage. It does jiggle around a bit with the GPS. Of course, there's no there's no gimbal on this drone, so yeah, you're not going to have that awesome stable video footage. But for the dollar, it's a pretty good bang for your buck. Obviously, this is a 1080 version. There is a 4K version. Check out the link. I've decided just for the 1080. Often you don't really get 4, uh, 4K when you ask for 4K. All right, let's bring it back down again. Pretty fun little flyer this thing. The only drawback I would suggest it is slightly un unresponsive sometime in the sticks for no apparent, apparent reason so I'll have a play around some settings later. Okay we should be getting fairly low on battery soon. I think we're about six, seven, eight minutes in. I think they go for about 12 minutes so I'll take it a little distance away. So apparently uh, yeah when she gets low on battery she returns home. So let's just see how well it fares doing this. Well, it started to jiggle around a bit, which is a sure sign of the battery getting low. Let's just take him over here. Let's hope it doesn't head off to China when it goes home either. <laughs> that happened in the past. Okay. Let's try and expel some battery. What's the point of returning to home at 30 metres? Okay, okay, I'll let go of the sticks now. Okay, she's admitted a beep. And I believe that means it's coming back home and it seems to be going somewhere without me touching it. So, let's see what happens. It's coming my direction, which is always a good thing. Still sitting at 50 metres though, so... Not too sure what happened then. Apparently uh, I was disconnected from the device. Okay, yes, it's landing. It's landing, however, it's landing in the trees. So, you're going to need to move that. You can control it by yourself. 
So let's just go over here. Okay, I'll let go again. You just gotta be careful guys, if you are near some trees, it will land in them. So again, I've let go of the sticks. Not too sure why I lost the video transmission a short time ago, but interesting. And it's landing very slowly by itself. I believe it's still coming down. So I'll just let it run now. I haven't touched the sticks from the time it started beeping. No, it's not coming down anymore. Okay. So it stopped at 20 meters on the return to home feature. So that's pretty cool. So it did what it said, low batteries and return home. So let's bring it down.